We're discussing how to test your power jack on your Dell computer. We're going to show you the two most common kind of power jacks. We're going to use a different, a couple different brands computer, but they're very standardized. So we'll show you how to do that now. So we're going to test your power jack. We're going to test two different kinds of power jack. This one's integrated into the motherboard and we're going to test another one that is not. Now this, I'm going to use a multimeter. I got this on Amazon. There's a link in the description if you don't have one. Um, turning the settings to this, the volt settings, looks like this one because we're going to be testing to see if there's power going into that power jack and then into the board. If a motherboard with an integrated power jack has a broken power jack, then the motherboard is dead. So first I'm going to test my charger, just quickly, black one on the outside of the power cord and then I take that red one and I either Depending on the kind, I might put it on the wall of it, or there's usually like a prong you can set it up against to see if it's giving you a good read. 18.90 volts, that's acceptable because it's supposed to be putting out 19 volts. You can tell how much your power cord is supposed to be putting out by looking for this on the bottom of the output where it says 19 volts. As long as it's close to that, up or above, you should be okay. So I'm taking my black, uh, prong and I'm putting it on a piece of metal and I'm using the red one to test all the little uh, metal posts that are going into board to see if they're putting out enough power. Now as you can see this board is dead uh, or this power jack is dead because it's just not giving me anything to work with. It's just as you can see I can't even get one volt out of it. So definitely that is why this computer is not turning on is because this power jack is dead so this motherboard would need to be replaced. Now I'm going to show you the other kind of common power jack that a lot of laptops have. And this one's working, so you're going to get to see the difference between the two. This motherboard's actually dead, but the power jack itself is working. So I'm going to show you how to test not only this kind, but also what a working test of a power jack looks like. So this is a wired kind. Once again, where's your power jack? Well, it's where you plug in your power cord, to put it simply. And I'm going to look at these wires. As you can see, when I get up close, you have red wires. That is where you take your multimeter, put the red prong on that. And the black one, you'd be testing uh, these black wires with it. So I'm going to take, I'm going to plug it in first, and then I'm going to take my multimeter, and I'm going to test that power jack. So I put the red one where the red wires are, the little metal that's below it, and the black. I'll start with the black first. The black wires lead down to the black piece of metal, and then the red ones lead down to the red piece of metal below it. So it comes out with 18.9 volts. That means this power jack works. So if you had a working power jack in this case, you would move on to the next video on our series. If it failed this test, that means all you would need to do is replace Thank you for supporting our channel, both through subscribing and through Patreon. Also, a big shout out to our fellow eggheads who have purchased merchandise from our store. Also, a big shout out to Pinion Designs, whose talented designers crafted our merchandise for us. This is not a paid endorsement, we're just impressed with their work. And their website is down below in the description. But anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.